All right, welcome back to lesson two on the 12th of May, Chem 11. We're going to talk today about average atomic mass, isotopes, and percent abundance. What does it even mean? What are the words? I've seen average atomic mass, and you said percent abundance in a previous lesson. So, all right, average atomic mass. Let's define that. Average atomic mass is the combined mass, or the, sorry, let's say the average. That's when you take something and you add up all the pieces and divide by how many pieces there were to get the average. Nothing new, you should be familiar with it, but this is gonna throw in a little, something, slip in something new. The average atomic, the average mass based on isotopes Oops. and the percent abundance. Okay, isotope. What's an isotope? Well, an isotope is an atom with a different atomic mass. A species having the same atomic number but a different atomic mass. We've looked at isotopes and we've talked about isotopes already. These are the things that make up different from carbon-12 versus carbon-13, carbon-14. And percent abundance. Percent abundance is defined as the percent... The percent abundance is the class... Is, um, Quantification, so the quantify to count, of the presence of, quantification of the presence of certain isotopes. So let's say I go and I take a sample of ten marbles. And in that 10 marbles, I get four black. One, two, three, four. I get three blue. So that's four, seven. Two red. Crazy here, Gaffney. Then one multicolor. All right, percent abundance. 
So if I said in this whole situation, there's 10 marbles. There's four black. Out of 10, we're looking at percent black. Four black out of 10 marbles. That times 100 gives us your percent abundance. That's 40% black. Let's do percent blue. Well, there's three blue out of 10 marbles. Times 100 equals 30% blue. And you can do that for all the colors. Red, percent red. One red. Out of 10 marbles times 100. 10, sorry, two reds. 20% red. So the abundance of these marbles is as listed. And then multicolor, I'm just going to do that in black because it's easiest. Times 100. Percent is times 100. Now you need to remember percent is per cent. Per 100. It's a fraction given in a whole numbered style. So you could say one, okay, so this is 10 percent multi. Uh -huh. Okay. 40% black, 30% blue, 20% red, 10% multicolored. This is the percentage abundance of these. So what chemists have do is they go and they dig up a sample and they take say 100 grams of that sample and they can go and they can do specific mass measurements of every particle, let's say. So they go through, they do these specific mass measurements, these specific an analyses to see what it's made of and they find that they have different weights of the same carbon atom. So they take their carbon atoms, they take 100 carbon atoms, and they weigh them, and they get three different carbons. They get carbon 12, they get carbon 13, and they get carbon 14. And they weigh these. And they weigh these. And what do they get when they weigh these? That's a really good question. What do they get? Well, they find that percent abundance, they find it. 98.9 .9 of them are carbon 12s. They find that about 1.1 .1 of them are carbon 13s, and they find that less than 0 0.0001 of them are carbon 14. So as we see, most of them are carbon 12 a few carbon-13 and very few carbon-14. And they actually use carbon-14 for dating. So what's the actual atomic mass of each one of these? Well, for all intents and purposes, there's 12 AMU, 13 AMU, 14 AMU. So if we want to figure out the average atomic mass, We can't just take these three masses 
and add them up and divide because well there's 98.9 or of 98 are 12 only one is 13 and less than that is 14 so we have to figure out a formula and there's a formula and that is and so this is isotope of carbon 12 this is an isotope of carbon 13 isotope of carbon 14 so let's just call them let's say it's the mass of isotope 12 times the abundance of isotope 12 plus the mass of 13 times the abundance of 13. Now the abundances are what takes into account how many of each amount there is. So by multiplying by that percent, which we'll use actually in fraction form, in decimal form, and it'll be the same for any atom. Using the decimal form gives us correct answers. So average atomic mass, what's the mass of carbon 12? 12 AMU. And what was it abundance? It was 0 0.989. We've gone from 98.9% to that. So if we need a refresher on going to that, well, Ninety-eight point nine percent is equal to ninety-eight point nine over one hundredth, or nine hundred and eighty-nine ninety-eight one thousandths, or zero point nine eight nine. Going from there, ninety-eight percent is the same as ninety-eight over hundred, which is the same as ninety-eight one hundredths. In this case, it's ninety-eight point nine. We do some decimal moving, you get 90, 989 over 1,000, or 989 thousandths. So back to this, same thing for carbon-13, plus 13, don't forget your units. There's no units on abundances, they're just numbers. Okay. 14 times less than, I think that's right. And you do each step remembering bed mass. Let's go through, do it, do, 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 trust the old calculator. 12 times 0 0.989. 11.868. 12 AMU times this is 11.868 AMU. Don't forget your mass. Atomic mass unit unit. Clear that. 13 times 0 0.011. This only contributes 0 0.143 AMUs. 14. Yeah, I had the right zeros. So I get these three AMU values and I just add them up. 0 0.000014 plus 0 0.143 plus 11. 0.868 equals 12.011. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. What can we do for sig figs? Well, one. We're just going to go 12.01. Let's go to your periodic table. Check out the back. The average atomic mass is 12.01. That's what we calculated. So that's how you do it. Let's do another example.
Page two. Sorry, I gotta find my notes. I've really spent a lot of time getting this ready. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at magnesium. Calculate the average atomic mass of magnesium based on the following information. So I'm going to tell you that you have three magnesium isotopes. You have magnesium 24. You have magnesium 25. And you have magnesium 26. And their percent abundances are... Seventy-eight point nine nine. Ten and eleven point zero one. Calculate the average atomic mass. So that's going to be average atomic mass equals the mass of twenty four times the abundance of twenty four plus the mass of 25 times the uh, abundance of 25 plus the mass of 26 times the abundance of 26. So that's what it's going to look like. And then it's just a matter of plugging the numbers in. All right, we don't know the average atomic mass yet, but we do know what's 24. It weighs 24. times that, right? 25. Oh, I'm forgetting my units. Same you. Twenty-four MU times the zero point. 7899 the abundance 25 times 0 0.1000 0, 0, 0, 0, three zeros and 26 times 0 0.1101 all right now let's do the math where's my trusty old calculator 24 atomic mass units times 0 0.7899 gives us 18.9576 we're not going to do anything with sig figs yet Okay, plus, oops, clear, 25 atomic mass units times 0 0.1000, I don't need all zeros, 2.5, 2.5, and there's four sig figs, so I should have at least a few extra, then I'll round at the end. 26 times 0 0.1101. Gives us 2.8626 AMUs. Okay, add these all up. Plus 18.95762. 2, 4.3202. AMU, and we want to round for sig figs. We're going to look at the sig figs from the present abundance. They all had four sig figs. 
We're going to assume 24, 25, 26 to just be constants. We don't need to worry about the sig figs there. So we will have 24.32 AMUs as the average atomic mass. I want you to practice this on your own. So boron 10, do do do. Boron 11, there's 19.9%, 80.1%. So I soap 10 of boron, I soap 11, and the percent of bun. Okay, so that's there. I want you to go through and I want you to figure out, find the average atomic mass. Okay, I'm going to pause it, take a moment, and I want you to come back to it. Do, 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 and we're back. So let's take a look at that. What do you do? You have the mass of the 10 times its abundance plus the mass of the 11 times its abundance. We get this, we get this. Multiplying them, adding them together. I'm going to three sig figs because that's what was in the percents. 10.8 AMU. Take a look at the back of your periodic table and the back of your text. What do you get? 10.81. Well, we weren't quite as accurate. We didn't have quite the same measurements. There's other isotopes we could have not figured in because these might not be the only ones or maybe other occurrences, just in very low amounts. Okay. I want to stop there, after I, um, but I'm going to assign to you a few for homework. Okay, hey, which one's my... Yeah, so for homework, I want you to practice this. So find average atomic so Chlorine 35 and Chlorine 37. Question one, question two, silver, AG107 is 51.8% and silver 109 to so solve those. Just those two, I'll post them as well. And just do it on a separate piece of paper, record your answers, and you're good as gold. Awesome. Have a great day, wait for another lesson.